Next, we will review our GPS health screen. If you notice up here in the top left, you have your GPS icon. This icon can be either green, yellow, or red. If you are not getting GPS, here is where you need to look. Simply press the green icon, and this will bring up our GPS health screen. When you are getting good GPS, it will give you the amount of satellites you are viewing and your HDOP reading. It will also map out which and where satellites that you are viewing. If you are not getting GPS, this is the first screen you need to come to to see why. If you have a high HDOP reading, that is usually due to an atmospheric disturbance and will disrupt the GPS signal. There is nothing you can do except move to a different area and wait out the disturbance. Simply hit your green check mark to return to the home screen. Now we will check our node revision information. This is the software information that is loaded on either your product node, AccuBoom node, or AutoBoom node, which we may need to see from time to time while troubleshooting your system. To gain access to this, simply hit your blue icon with the wrench and the screwdriver to enter into your configuration pages. Then, you will see the icon marked Control Interface. Simply select that, and you will see two icons, one with the picture of a node and one with the picture of a serial connection. Simply select the picture of the node. This will then give us all our node and software information for our system. This can be useful while troubleshooting any errors that you may come up with while operating your system. To return back to the configuration screen, simply hit your green check mark. Hit your green check mark again, and you're back to your configuration page. Then simply hit your home key to return to your home screen. Now we will go through how to update your Invisio Pro software. Your software version is located in the top right corner. As you can see, this is version 2.0.4.0. From time to time, Raven will issue updates to their software for any improvements that need to be made. To get this software, first we'll visit www.ravenprecision.com. To download the updated software for your Invisio Pro, please go to www.ravenprecision.com. Once there, your screen will look like this. Simply scroll to the bottom, into the support menu, you will see a list there called software. Just click on the software, and it will then bring you into the section for all the software updates. You will select Invisio Pro. It will then bring up all the software versions for the Invisio Pro. The most recent software updates will be in bold. We can see here that in April of 2009, we had version 2.0.4.0 was released. That is the most current version. Select this version. You will receive instructions on how to download the information to your thumb drive. It will also give you instructions once the information is downloaded to your thumb drive on how to install it in your Invisio Pro. It will also give you a short list of features that are being added by this update. Simply scroll all the way to the bottom to the Download Now icon. Simply save it to your desktop and you will begin to see it download to your desktop. Once the download is complete, simply minimize the window. And you will see the zip folder that has been downloaded to your desktop for the Invisio Pro. This comes to you in a zip file so that it may transfer over the internet easily. To be able to use this, you must first unzip the file. To do this, simply right click, go down to the selection that says Extract All, and select that selection. It will bring up the Extraction Wizard. Follow the instructions on the Extraction Wizard.
Once completed, select the Finish tab. These are the contents of the folder that you will need to copy to your USB drive. Simply select each folder by holding down the control key as you select them. Then right click, go down to the selection that says send to USB disk. Once the transfer is complete, check your USB drive. You should see all five files copied to your root directory. Now you're ready to take your USB drive from your computer and go out to your Invisio Pro. Now that we've downloaded our software to our thumb drive, we'll come back to our Invisio and simply enter into our configuration screen by hitting the blue icon with the wrench and the screwdriver to enter the configuration pages. We will then select our update icon. As you can see, it says no USB drive attached. I will simply install my USB drive to the side of the Invisio. I will then select new Invisio Pro. After I hit the check mark, I want to be sure that I do not lose power or remove my thumb drive as it is updating, which if removed, could cause hardware damage to the actual console which would then need to be returned to Raven for repair. To begin the update, after we've selected new Invisio Pro, we will simply hit the green check mark. These updates may take anywhere up to 15 minutes to install. It will automatically now update. Please remember, any job files that were stored on the console must be stored on your thumb drive and either kept on a thumb drive or taken to your computer for safekeeping, as most times they are not compatible with the new software. Once your update is finished, it'll ask you to reboot the console. To reboot the console, simply press your power button to power off the console. Then remove your thumb drive, repower up your console. Once your console powers back up, you must perform a screen calibration. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to perform this calibration. Your console will automatically return to the home screen. Your new software is now installed and ready to use. You have successfully completed the update of your Invisio Pro software. This has been a brief overview of some of the basic features and functions of your Raven console. For any additional information, please see your owner's manual that was supplied with your Apache and your Raven console. For further assistance, please contact your local Apache dealer. Thank you.